Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup haul. So if you would like to see some of the things I bought, please keep watching. So the first thing I picked up is another shade of the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Foundation. I really wanted to do a foundation first impression on it. So when it first came out, I bought it, but I bought it in the lightest shade and that's too light for me right now. So I wanted to go back and get a darker shade so I could film a video on it. Next, I picked up the e.l.f. Natural Glow Face Palette, Fresh and Flawless, and then it just says Beautifully Bare. I don't even know what to expect. I like this packaging. It's like a, I'm like blinding you guys. Um, all the other e.l.f. palettes that I have are black, so it's nice that this one's like a silver. So these are the shades right here. I don't really know. Like, what is this? I think it's like a highlighter, two blushes, and a contour shade. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so it said it was, what, a natural face palette? These look really nice, though. So here are the swatches. Very natural looking for sure, but I don't mind that, especially for, like, like light makeup days. I'm sure you won't even be able to see that, so I'm totally wasting your time right now. But, yeah, I mean, for, like, no makeup makeup days or just, like, an everyday makeup look, this would be nice. Next, I have this CYO brand fixing powder. This is in the shade Clear, and I believe this is just a loose setting powder. I only find this brand at the Walgreens in Vegas. I cannot find it anywhere in California. So if you live in California and you find this CYO brand at your Walgreens, let me know, like, what city that is. Ooh, okay. I've been trying really hard not to buy... I've been trying really hard to not buy any more eyeshadow palettes. I have way too many. I always buy ones that I'm just like, mm, use once and I'm like, mm, no, and I never use it again. It's such a waste of money. And like at this point, it's like I have all these palettes, but like I only use like two of them and I just really want to stop. And I wasn't going to buy this, but then I kept looking at it and I decided to buy it anyways. But this is the new Rimmel London Magnified, Magnified Eye Spice Edition and it's their new eyeshadow palette and like these are shades i love like this is my favorite color range for eyeshadow so i had to buy it <laughs> did i need it no but um i had to buy it and it comes with like a little spongy brush and then another little brush on the side i don't know i might just keep that look how gorgeous these shades are like you get one two three four five six mattes and one two three four five six shimmers i wonder if this would be a good dupe for the naked heat palette okay this was a win wait till you guys see these shimmer shades oh my gosh and i think this palette was like seven dollars do you see that <laughs> oh <laughs> oh my god do you guys see that Look at the pigment of those shimmer shades and my hands not even wet. Can you imagine if you got your brush wet? Okay, I just wiped my hand off with a makeup wipe. I'm gonna let my fingers dry for a second and I wanna do the matte shades. Cause I have a couple of these other Rimmel palettes that look like this, they're just different. And I wasn't really that impressed, but the this, these are the matte shades. Okay, we all know mattes don't swatch worth crap, but yeah that did not swatch very well <laughs> not at all but still those shimmer shades for this being like i said like under ten dollars it's almost worth just buying just for those shimmer shades because those are amazing so i already have the other two of these blushes so i wanted to get the other two because i'm obsessed these are the l'oreal Paradise Enchanted Scented Peach Blushes. I don't really care for the scent, but these are gorgeous. Like the other two shades I have, so I had to get the other ones. This first one right here is in the shade. So this is in Charming, and I believe this is like the darkest of the four. And then this one right here is in the shade Fantastical. I feel like all four shades have like this like golden sheen kind of built into it it's like they're all cousins of milani luminoso so if you love that blush i think you would really like these like i'm so excited like i said the other two shades i have i'm obsessed with and i already know that i'm going to be obsessed with these two shades i got another foundation and i'm pretty sure there's like three more in there <laughs> oh my god um i got another one of the number seven lift and luminate foundations um 
I used almost half a bottle of this already when I was really fair. I used the shade Cool Vanilla. And when I'm like super fair, that is my like 100% shade match is that one foundation. So I wanted to get it and I love that. So I wanted to get it in a darker color so I could wear it now. So I don't know. This almost doesn't look dark enough. Um, this is in the shade Cool Beige. So I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Like to me... I don't know. We'll have to see. I hope it works out because I love this foundation. So the next thing is another Cody Airspun powder. I didn't realize that these come in different shades. And the one that I use now that's, I've had this for like a year and it looks like I've never even touched it. But this is the Translucent Extra Coverage. That's what this one is. And then this one is Naturally Neutral. So I just want to see if there's like because to me, the translucent one has like a pink tint to it. It kind of looks like that to me anyways. Or like a beigey skin tint. And then this one has like, it's more like light. Like it's more of like a white shade. Hopefully you guys can see the difference. So I'm just curious to see. I got one of the new Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blushes. And this is in the shade Hummingbird hype i can't remember what the collection of this is called but there is three blushes i had to order the other two on amazon and then i was in rite aid the other day and i saw this so i like snatched it up real quick because it was on amazon for 20 dollars and it only retails for five so i was like no that's really pretty there's like a little hummingbird in there too i don't really know if i consider that a blush i consider that a highlighter that's not a blush no way maybe a blush topper but that is this is not a blush, but it's still really pretty. Ooh, and then I saw this at Walmart. I saw it first on Maybelline on Instagram, but I don't know if, if it's just me, but I've noticed sometimes when L'Oreal and Maybelline post stuff on Instagram, it's not always in the U.S. Like, I always have to go to, like, other sites that will ship to the U.S. if you could only buy it in the U.K. And I saw it on there, and then I saw it in the store, so I was like, okay. But this is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. I'm pretty sure this is brand spanking new or they just repackaged it. I don't know. I never heard of it. So I got the shade 40 Nude. It says foundation plus hydrating serum. Mm. And then I believe these are new as well. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Foundation Sticks. This is what they look like. So you have the product right there and then that's it. There's no sponge. So um, this says there is sunscreen, SPF of 27. I got the shades Ivory 401 and Natural Beige 407. So I have the new Maybelline Superstay Foundation Stick. And you get 7 grams in this one. And it comes with a blender. This one does not come with a blender. And you get 9 grams. And I think they're about the same price. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do a video testing this on one side and this one on this side and see which one's better. Then I got a concealer from that. This is in the shade Fair. I haven't used a stick concealer like this in so long. So I'm excited for that. Ooh, it feels creamy. I mean, it is tugging a little bit, but it felt really creamy. I feel like this is definitely one of those concealers you have to blend out with your finger. Um, then I got another one of these Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. I love these. I'm slowly growing my collection of them. This is in the shade Poet. And it just looked like a peachy nude to me, and I love that. Ooh, this is really pretty. You can probably barely see it, but that's really pretty. And then the last thing I picked up, I believe is also new from Maybelline. This is the new Maybelline Color Sensational Lipsticks, and I got the shade Taupe Seduction. I think that these are revamped Whisper lipsticks from Maybelline. I don't know, but I think so because they're like more pigmented. Can you see? Oh, that's so pretty. They're a little bit sheer and super creamy, but I mean, I don't mind it. I like it. I feel like it looks good on the lips. It has like a built-in like lip gloss, I guess. And you can just throw on a lip liner, throw this on, and you're good. Like that looks so pretty. Okay guys, that's everything in this haul. Let me know if you've tried any of these products in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.